History has already judged those evil people in the same way future generations will judge you. And more importantly, there is a day of judgment in which you'll be judged for this injustice today. Thank you, Mayor and members of the council. My name is Reverend Jeff Durbin. I'm in opposition today, and I'm a pastor of Apologia Church and the head of End Abortion Now. And I'm a resident of the city of Phoenix. By God's grace, uh, we're the organization that has actually put in the bills of abolition and criminalization across the United States of, United States of America, including Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Colorado, and there's more coming. We also filed the amicus brief in the Dobbs case that defeated Roe. Uh, just an observation, uh, it's an incontrovertible fact that what's in the womb is human from conception. That is not under dispute, that's not debated. Somebody making that claim is about 50 years behind the science. There's an incontrovertible fact that what's in the womb is human from the moment of conception and all humans deserve equal protection. When the Christian abolitionists fought to criminalize slavery based upon the Christian scriptures and Christian worldview, they had to contend with rulers and powerful white people who just couldn't let it go. They fought, those rulers, to dehumanize our black brothers and sisters and not offer them equal protection under the law, the same thing that you're attempting to do today. Dehumanize the preborn and offer them no protection. History has already judged those evil people in the same way future generations will judge you. And more importantly, there is a day of judgment in which you'll be judged for this injustice today. Can you just imagine, friends and fellow residents, when slavery was abolished and criminalized, rulers such as yourselves calling a special session to legislate or resolve to ignore reports of people beating or owning our black brothers and sisters. The law doesn't work in their favor, so they suggest simply ignoring it. Scripture says those who hate me love death. Nothing could be clearer than that today. I call on you to repent, turn to Christ, and establish justice and equal protection for these innocent preborn human beings. Thank you for your time.